Hello Catamounts. I hope this message finds you well and that you're enjoying the bright sunshine and the longer days that come with spring. It certainly has been beautiful here the last three days in Vermont and it makes me really miss you even more than I did before these great sunshiny days. I wanted to reach out to you and let you know that all of the faculty and staff here at the University of Vermont are thinking about you. I know this semester has been a challenge at every level for all of us, but I also know that you, our students, are strong, smart, and resilient, and that this will end. When it does, we will all be together again. Until that day, I thought I would just share with you a couple of things that are happening at the University of Vermont that are really exciting. The first is several Fulbright announcements are rolling in about our students and we actually learned that three UVM students so far have won Fulbright awards. Riley Becknia will be continuing her studies in ecology in Mongolia and then I learned yesterday that Camilla Thomason Tai and James Whitley will be teaching English in Taiwan. Our College of Engineering and Mathematical Sciences just won a three-year, $3.7 million grant to develop cold climate technology. Very exciting for our engineers and those who are involved in environmental engineering. And then I learned from our graduate college dean just yesterday that Katie Queen, a cellular, molecular, and biomedical sciences student, was just awarded a National Science Foundation Fellowship. We are also expecting a new fall this season at the Morgan Horse Farm. If you haven't been there, it's something to see. It is quite beautiful. The animals are incredible. And then the University of Vermont and Vermont Law School have been collaborating and were awarded a $3 million grant from the U.S. Department of Justice. And this grant is used to establish the nation's very first center on restorative justice. Our faculty continue to excel in their research and work, and three of our environmental faculty members have been standouts. Amy Clausen, Nicholas Gatelli, and Taylor Ricketts just received national recognition as lifetime fellows of the Ecological Society of America. UVM actually received more of these honors than any other institution in the nation. And then, of course, many of you know with March just ending, maple sugaring season also ended at the Proctor Maple Research Center. The total for the season was 3,462 gallons of incredible maple syrup. Our best production year ever, and plenty for all of us than for you when you return to campus. Just imagine that maple syrup on your pancakes, waffles, French toast, or maybe one of my mom's favorites on ice cream. It's true that many things are different right now, but in the most important ways, things are the same and they remain the same. And that is, you have family, you have friends who love you. Al's French Fries is still here, as is our dairy bar. And you are still a catamount, a University of Vermont catamount. And I wanted to share with you, I've so appreciated the opportunity to have some connection with many of you during this remote instruction. I have several students who are doing research with me remotely, and we get to connect every week um, as we're working with children with autism in a remote environment. And I'm teaching my Wednesday night class on Adobe Connect and just had it last night and really enjoyed the students and their interactions. And I realize you are what keep me grounded and continually remind me of why I do what I do. So thank you for that. So together we're gonna to make things happen. I hope you will use this time on to really reflect on the difference that you've already made in the world and that I know you're going to make when you return this fall. Let's get fired up and ready to make things happen. We will be ready for you. Until then, study hard, be well, and take really good care of yourself. Go Catamounts. <laughs>